Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz, and tonight for Ken Bestida, we begin with an ecological disaster in Berkeley. Foam used to put out a fire has killed hundreds of fish. KPX 5's Wilson Walker is along Cordinas' Creek, and we join him live. Wilson? Yeah, we are right on the, the border of Berkeley. That is Albany, about 30 feet away from me if you cross this little bridge. And this is Codornissus Creek. I hope I'm getting that right. I've heard it said a couple different, uh, couple different ways today. And here is the creek that unfortunately received a good dousing of the foam used yesterday to put out a garbage truck fire. Now, we have spoken today with uh, San Francisco Baykeeper, the group that, that tries to protect California waterway, uh, Bay Area waterways, and we have spoken with the Berkeley Fire Department, and it seems like this is just sort of an unfortunate turn of events that has a pretty heavy price here in this creek. Yeah, this is a fish kill. Hundreds of fish probably um, dead in Cotonouses Creek. I counted 40 between 6th and 8th streets. Hundreds of dead fish, the aftermath of yesterday's garbage truck fire. Now, the Berkeley Fire Department tells us their primary concern yesterday was two natural gas cylinders on the top of that garbage truck. That's a new feature on those trucks, and firefighters were afraid they might explode, so the foam was used to protect those cylinders. The problem that foam reached. Cordonis' Creek. Someone came in and said, hey, there's dead fish in the creek. Neighbors weren't the only ones counting dead fish today. We saw three employees from the city of Berkeley poking around and one officer from the California Department of Fish and Game. As you can see, he had collected a bag full of dead trout. Now that firefighting foam, Class A foam, it works by cutting off a fire's oxygen supply. When it reaches the water, it will do the same thing to the fish. It just takes away their oxygen. Yeah, um, once once that foam's in the creek and the fish are dead, there's not a lot you can do to bring them back to life, you know. All right, so uh, that gentleman, an attorney for uh, San Francisco Baykeeper, he, he, his question out of this was, was there some procedure or some protocol for the, for the distri distribution of that foam and the deployment of that foam that would allow for its capture before it could reach the creek? Is there some sort of you know, best practice for using that foam, considering this can be the aftermath? I asked the fire department that. A battalion chief tells me, look, when you make that decision, it is a life safety decision. You're in a neighborhood with that fire truck, with those two natural gas cylinders that might explode. When you deploy that foam, it's a life-saving uh, decision. And that you, you aren't thinking at the moment too much about where that foam might go, and that in that it reaching this creek, creek is just sort of an unfortunate circumstance, the way he described it, just sort of an unfortunate turn of events that could not have been avoided. But as you saw, the city out here and the state out here sort of investigating what happened. So maybe we will learn more about what was done. Could it have been avoided? But uh, you have seen the aftermath here in the creek. We are live just on the border of Berkeley. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.